Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're playing Forza Horizon, the all-in bundle. And today I'm going to show you one of the craziest cars I have right now at hand. So, here is a pretty normal, a pretty casual Chevrolet Camaro Z28. But, until you hear the sound of this car, you can't, you will never gonna be able to tell that it stands apart. So let's fire up the engine. And, well, this is the particular, there's nothing particular with this car, everything is uh, casual. Let's go for it. Okay, ready for it. Oh my god. This car sounds insane. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes this out yes if you haven't yet it sounds freaking insane dude well actually in this video I would like to build a car from the ground up and uh, well, for that, let's head out to our car gallery. I'm not going for the, for the purpose of this video. I'm not going to buy a new car. We're going to sift through what we already have in our garage and uh, take whichever fits us the best. So for this build, I would like to take a car that's not really streamlined, not something everyone else is doing. I'd like to take a car that's pretty strange, a, a car that's rare and uh, preferably a, a vintage car, an old car. Let's sift through all the cars. Oh my god, if you if you were to look deeply, you will find a lot of duplicate cars in here. Just like this uh, Datsun. Why not build one of these? Yeah, that would be fun. Cute JDM car. But uh, Earlier on, I was sifting through my cars and I saw one car that stood out to me, and that was a Mazda. Let's head over to M. The Mazda RX-3 is a pretty rare car. If I'm not mistaken, it's selling around 10 million in the store credit as we speak right now. Uh, yeah, in, in, the, in the auction. I meant, sorry, my bad. In the auction, it's selling for approximately 10 million. Listen to that rotary engine. Oh my God! Just superb car. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty old, but listen to that. Oh my God! Look at that. Look at the car. Just listen to that low rumble. That low stuttery rumble. It's not an atypical two-rotor engine, it's got the typical two-rotor engine. Let's go. Let's go directly to the garage, and then if you want to modify the car, you're you're gonna want to go to upgrades and tuning. Since we are going to do everything from scratch, we are going to, we're not going to choose the already uh, uh, developed tunes of somebody else. So first of all, let's see the swap options for this car. You have the standard two rotor engine, you have an uh, inline four 1.6 liter turbo rally engine, which by reading, just by reading through this curve, you know it's a twin turbo. 
uh, twin turbo engine because uh, you know that huge jump in power from one RPM to the other that's a very indicative of a uh, of a twin turbo system and here you have the four rotor oh my god we're definitely going for this legendary four rotor 2.6 liter racing engine oh my god let's let's do this one if you guys are not familiar the two rotor was uh, developed by Mazda uh, back in the days and uh, was used on the racing in the racing uh, team for the Grand Prix and Grand uh, Grand Touring, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Th this is a legendary OG engine, my dudes. So now, if we want to swap this car, it's currently at rear wheel drive, which will make it a very interesting drift build. But since it's snowy outside, we don't want that. I'd like to build this car up to a pretty off-roady character. A V8 would be perfect, but since we don't have a V8, we're going to go for uh, the four-rotor engine, okay? And then we're gonna swap it to all-wheel drive system. Now, let's head back out. The drivetrain swap has been done. Now, let's head over to the engine. There's not many parts available for this car, I can see. This might have been a bad idea to try to modify this car as my first project car in Forza Horizon 4. So even though uh, for the dampers we're going to use the ride height plus 2 centimeters, even though it's uh, it kind of hinders the progress, it hinders the, the abilities of the car, the handling, the, the acceleration, the launch and the braking uh, are severely uh, affected but since we want an off-road car a very capable off-road car we might want to raise the car a little bit so uh, I don't think we really need uh, roll anti-roll on this on this car so the 23 kilogram additional weight is not justified but it does add a little bit of acceleration launch and handling to the car uh, I don't know. Let's 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 try it out. Let's try it out because since it's going to be an off-road car, and we always have this uh, Joker option here to always uh, reduce the weight by ex an extensive 65 kilogram. That's really awesome. Now let's head back out. We're gonna give it a race clutch and the race transmission. The drivetrain is going to be a race drive line and the race differential altogether this this car is, uh, is being put together pretty okay so far we're going to have snow tires on this because uh, we're definitely going to be driving on snow let's bump the, the width to it the maximum maximum it can get oh now that's going to be nice i want a uh, i'm looking for a rim that kind of sunks in right sinks in, in inside and gives that uh, really muscly character to the, to the car and uh, well this one's pretty nice I would say this one is pretty nice let's 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 try this one out not bad not bad I want something a little bit more character to the car it has to add some character yes this one looks perfect we're going for this one we're gonna bump uh, the size a little bit not too much maybe around here because you have to, to leave some room for uh, you don't you don't want an extremely low profile tire since you're going since I'm going to be driving this car uh, off-roading taking this car for being okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the the Mazda spoilers on this car and so far so good it's gonna cost us around 113,000 credits to modify this car well let's install this and oh my god it's top of s1 tire that's pretty good I'm gonna be slamming those dudes with this car now let's go to tuning let's go to tuning i always like to drive my cars at 2.0 i see there's a forzathon life we're going to go for that in a, in a while let's uh 
keep your keep your eye on this curve here. If you, if you pay some attention, you'll see the first gear ends around a hundred. I'm gonna say a hundred kilometers. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But since we're going off road, we probably want it a little bit more accelerating. That's a word. I don't I don't know if that's a word. And when it comes to the dampers, we could soften th them a little on the front, not really on the rear, because the the car is gonna sink too much if, when when you hit the acceleration pedal. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. Let's. Uh, do you wanna? Yeah. Yes, of course. Now, let's go to the design and paints for this. I'm not going to make my the own design. My own design is going to take too long. Let's take. Uh, let's uh, just uh, slam on one of the recommended designs. Well, well, it's taking too long. Let's just paint the car. Let's just paint it, man. Let's just paint it. One of the let's just painted one of the factory colors. I think I'm going for this one. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this one. And then the hood, we're gonna paint it carbon fiber. Yes. Goodness me, this looks really good. Let's go for this. Wait a minute. I think I didn't choose the right one. Here we go. Now the the wheels let's go for carbon fiber again this looks sick dude this just looks sick why not some blue tint to it yes here we go save the current car I'm pretty excited to drive this car and to hear how it sounds dude I've never been excited to drive a car this much not even uh, the, the GTR that I built some months ago Let's go, let's go. It's the final. Oh my god. Oh my god, listen to that. High pitched four rotor rotary engine. Oh my god. Horizon Festival and, and, and we're gonna see afterwards how this car performs from the other drivers. Let's go. That's, a, that's an insane skit right there. 200 
meters. Turn left. Recalculating route. Turn left. Turn sharp left. Arguably the best sound I Didn't see that. Didn't really didn't see that. It's pretty unfair. Let's go, just let's go, let's go. Uh, just put it in perspective, let me just swap cars back to the Nissan uh, 2000 GT as I was telling you earlier. Just to be able to get a feel of what I'm talking about. How good this car is. Let's head over to my 2000 GT and you're going to be able to see for yourself how good this round uh, one complete. Mazda is. Get to round two! Oh, this team is pretty good. They're really working together. Turn around yeah, when this it's car safe sounds to do good so. Too. That's an eight line six. It's pretty slow compared to the Let's head back to the Mazda, shall we? Where are you? Oh, since we're here, let me show you one of my other project cars that I, I'm pretty impressed. This thing has a four rotor, rotary engine just like the Mazda RX-3 we've just driven. This car is insane, man. It's insane. It's small. It's very capable. And, uh, well, the only... Turn around just listen to when it is safe to do so. How much Turn left. power it has, how much torque. Let's go. Turn left. Wow. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Go. Look at those cracks, man. 
bends. I don't think it's on. Turn around when it is safe to do so. This is probably one of the most interesting, one of the most fantastic and fascinating things about this. that on this car though. I think this is the most engaging sessions I've had with Forza Han with the team playing as a team. Really, that's insane. Round two, two complete. complete. Let's get to round three. three. Let's go. For this third session, uh, the drift session, I'm not going to take this car. It's not the best at drifting. I have a friend of mine who sold me a Lotus if I'm not mistaken, that's a Lotus. A Lotus, yes. This car is insane. He modified the car to a standard no one could ever beat. This car has got its top speed written on its side. How daring could it, how more daring could this car be? But since it's a small car and overpowered V10, the just like the the Audi four, the Audi R8 5.2 FSI Quattro rocks, this car is pretty overpowered. Just listen, have a listen to this car and have, just uh, see for yourself how powerful. It is. have a look at one of the cars that I prefer to drift as well it's not my favorite but it's a pretty good pretty decent drift car drift build that's the Zenvo STI it's the one turn around STI. when it is safe to do know. so it's got a naturally aspirated a drift build but let's take my super just just for fun since everyone's driving their supers let's go dude super gang it is super gang two jz gtes let's go turn around when it is safe to do so doubt this car's gonna drift Congratulations! 
Congratulations to us. Congratulations, guys. I'm pretty impressed with this community. I think the servers, uh, they have the best players. I've met them for a long time. Everyone's participative and they play towards winning the sports of thon Yeah, well, I like this. I like this. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Well, uh, I've had so much fun making this. It's my first video ever. Um, and well, in this video we featured the legendary Mazda RX-3 that we have right here. And stay tuned for the next video. Next video I'm going to be dropping probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. We're going to be featuring this car, the Mercedes AMG E63S. That's one of the legendary cars, the OGs, man. Well, it's an E-Class car and it's got a lot of power and a twin turbo V8 engine. So let's hit it. And well, until then guys, have a great day and peace out.